Hello, I'm Jill Grahl, Medical Services Director at the Eye Associates with another edition of Sight for Life and so much more. Do your eyes feel dry and irritated? Do they tear? You may have dry eyes. Today we will be talking about advanced dry eye treatments that you may not have heard of before. And here to discuss those treatments are two of the most well-respected eye physicians in the area, Dr. Scott Hahn and Dr. David Rubin. Welcome, doctors. I'm glad to be here, Jill. Hello. Dr. Rubin, you've been in practice in Venice for many years. Can you tell our audience a little bit about yourself? Well, yes, Jill. I got my training in uh, Philadelphia, and prior to that, I got my undergraduate degree in uh, Rutgers University in New Jersey. I moved to the Florida area, and I've been in practice in Venice for many years, as you said. Um, and then I left private practice in the end of 2015, joined the Eye Associates at the beginning of 2016 to help them continue the fine care that they've been giving the other areas of their exposure. Um, I'm very happy to say that of late, we've been doing a lot of work in the dry eye arena, bringing a lot of relief to a lot of the Venice patients that we see. Well, welcome, Dr. Rubin. Now, Dr. Hahn, I know that you're a board-certified and residency-trained optometric physician. Why don't you tell our audience a little bit about yourself? Thank you, Jill. After graduating from the University of Florida and the New England College of Optometry, I did an additional year of residency training focusing uh, specifically on ocular diseases. Uh, during that time, we did a lot of FDA clinical studies in dry eye, and that's where I learned the, the impact that dry eye has on so many of our patients. Um, and that's where we, I've really developed my passion to help patients um, improve their dryness. Uh, I am a fellow in the American Academy of Optometry and a diplomate in the American Board of Optometry as well. Well, welcome. Now, Dr. Hahn, I know that the Eye Associates is one of the very few um, uh, practices that is accredited dry eye center. It is also a center for regenerative care and a dry eye center of excellence. That's very impressive and a mouthful. Can you tell us what does that mean to your patients? Absolutely. So at the Eye Associates, we're one of the few offices that has uh, all of this advanced equipment, advanced training, and advanced technology that we can offer our patients. Uh, we're actually the, the only uh, center in the area that has all of those accreditations. Uh, with this uh, advanced technology, we can help better treat our dry eye patients and offer them uh, treatments that they're not going to find in other offices. Dr. Rubin, what causes dry eyes? You know, Jill, that's a really good question. And we used to see dry eye uh, primarily in the older population, and that's still true today, but we're also seeing it in the young and old. Uh, many of the younger patients that are spending a lot of screen time are experiencing a lot of dry eye symptoms. They're staring at tablets, computers, their phones. Uh, we're also seeing it in some patients who have other ailments, such as um, it's very common in arthritis patients to have dry eye, and we're even seeing some medications that our patients are taking also exacerbate their dry eye symptoms. Well, Dr. Rubin, what are some of the symptoms that are affiliated with dry eye disease? So, Most people with dry eye are going to complain about heaviness of their eyes, tired eyes, um, burning is a big symptom, itching as well. Uh, I, I look at it as you shouldn't feel your eyes and these patients definitely feel their eyes. Uh, blurry vision is another big symptom, fluctuating vision. So there's a whole host of different types of symptoms that people will present. And on occasion they'll come in and they say that their eyes feel dry. Another symptom is that their eyes will be teary, which is interesting. It's also important to note that uh, many severe dry eye patients actually have no symptoms. Uh, sometimes their nerve endings become so damaged that they actually don't feel any of their dryness. Um, some of those patients are uh, the most difficult to treat because they're not aware that something's going on and your body really needs that, that feedback in order to, uh, to let you know there's a problem but also to help get things better. So Dr. Hahn, watery eyes are is a symptom of dry eyes. Can you explain that a little bit more? So this is a conversation I have with my patients uh, every day. Uh, we have different types of tears. So we have normal tears that should be of good quality. And then we have reflex tears that um, occur when our eyes become 
so dry that your body sends a response to create more tearing. Now, unfortunately, these reflex tears will wash away our normal tears. So that will decrease the, the good quality tears and actually make your dryness worse. And then once your dryness is worse, that cycle will then continue uh, over and over. So a lot of the treatments that we'll be talking about today will help to address that cycle of dryness and uh, break that cycle. Dr. Rubin, I've heard of M. GD. What is that? So MGD stands for meibomian gland dysfunction or meibomian gland disease. Meibomian glands are tiny little glands around the eye and in the lids that produce part of the tear film, specifically an oily layer to the tear film. And this oily layer is vital for the patency of the tear film and in fact prevents and retards tear film evaporation. So in meibomian gland disease, these small little glands don't function well at all. And so with a lack of the oily layer of the tear film, we get tear film evaporation only exacerbating an already dry eye situation. Well now, I'd like to go ahead and talk about some of the advanced dry eye treatments um, that our audience may not have heard about. And Dr. Hahn, one of them that I'd like to start out with is tell me about IPL and how does it fit into the dry eye world because I've heard about IPL for cosmetic reasons but never for dry eye. So IPL stands for intense pulsed light and you're right the technology has been around for a long time uh, helping patients with smoothing their skin and blemishes uh, but we've learned that that same technology can also address the inflammation component that is found in dry eye disease. Uh, we have these tiny blood vessels that um, are underneath the skin and these blood vessels can leak inflammatory factors and the IPL technology will basically uh, shrink those blood vessels so that the inflammation is not coming out. Um, that IPL technology will also help with the meibomian gland disease that Dr. Rubin was just mentioning. In the meibomian glands we can get those oils that become stagnant and clogged uh, and they need to be melted and so with the intense pulse light technology we can uh, melt and extract those oils that have been stagnant for for years and, and decades sometimes. So and Jill another way that we can address meibomian gland disease and get those oils flowing in the meibomian glands is another in-office technique and it's called lipoflow. Lipoflow delivers thermal pulsations in the office to the eyelids helping to express those oils, loosen them up, and allowing them to flow, giving the eyes a much better tear film and giving considerable relief to many of our patients. Now, Dr. Hahn, I understand that you have advanced technology equipment that can actually determine the quality of the tear. That's can correct. you tell us a little bit more about that and how does that work? So at the ISO, uh, Eye Associates, we're one of the few offices that has this technology. We can measure a sample of the tears in the office while you wait and we can analyze that tear for its quality and osmolarity. Uh, from that we can help to determine how severe is your dryness. Um, do you even have dryness because oftentimes uh, dryness can masquerade as, as other eye conditions and diseases. Uh, once we identify your dryness, this technology will also help us to see whether the treatments are working. So they're a, a good measure of follow-up um, to quantify and uh, really see what is happening with your dryness. Are the treatments working as they are intended to? And one of the other tests that we'll do specifically at the Eye Associates is a test that measures inflammation of the tear film and around the eye. It's called Inflamadry, Jill. And Inflamadry does give us a measure of that inflammation so that we can tailor our treatment so that if the inflammation is significant, we can address that inflammation, trying to make patients more comfortable with the treatment dedicated towards that. So you really do customize your treatment for each patient? Absolutely. No two patients probably ever get the same exact treatment. Well, now, Dr. Hahn, I know that the Eye Associates is one of the few practices that actually offers custom-made eye drops called Serum Tears. Um, tell us, how are they made and why are these better? So we're actually the only practice in the area offering autogless Serum Tears. Um, so that means we take a sample uh, of your blood and we spin out the plasma portion. The plasma portion does contain all the normal components that are found in your tears. Uh, the advantages of this is that uh, it is a natural product. Uh, it is something that you're not going to be allergic to. Uh, we can super concentrate the components that are healthy in the tears and then place them in eyedropper bottles that you can instill yourself. Um, so you would place them in your eye like normal teardrops would be. 
but instead of an artificial tear, it's actually your own tear. Uh, studies also have um, shown that using this type of tear technology, you can help to uh, heal some of the areas of your eye, your cornea, that have may become you know, damaged from the, all the dryness. Well, now, Dr. Hahn, I was online looking at a testimonial of one of your patients. And this lady um, was talking about scleral lenses that actually helped her with her dry eyes. It was amazing results. And I've never heard of this. Uh, tell our audience a little bit more about this. Uh, so scleral lenses have been a, a real vision saver uh, for so many of my patients. Uh, scleral lenses are medical devices very similar to a contact lens, uh, but it uh, holds a constant reservoir of moisture directly onto the cornea. Uh, by doing that, we're constantly bathing the cornea and keeping it protected. So for patients who have extreme rawness, dryness, damage on the cornea, uh, this is one way that we can help them to feel better, but also help to stabilize their vision. Now, Dr. Rubin, what is true tear, and how does this help uh, with dry eye disease? Well, uh, true tear is a rather novel approach to treating dry eye. It's a small little handheld device, electronic. It uh, delivers pulses of electricity that will stimulate one of the cranial nerves that will cause your eyes to produce its own natural tears. So it's uh, portable, it can be used multiple times a day, and it really brings a lot of relief to a lot of our patients. Uh, one more thing I should add about it, it is unique in that it is drugless and dropless. So it's rather unique in the arsenal that we have for treating dry eye. Okay. Um, now, Dr. Hahn, I've heard of amniotic membrane treatment. Once again, how does this work? Uh, so amniotic membranes are uh, made of placenta tissue that comes from FDA approved uh, tissue banks and it is made specifically to fit over your eye, your cornea. And um, when you uh, use this technology, uh, it is placed on the eye in the office and it essentially melts over the, the next seven days. And by doing that, the factors that are normally found in placenta um, have some unique properties of uh, helping to regenerate corneal nerve tissue, which uh, is the only product that can do that. Um, the amniotic membranes reduce inflammation, which again is one of the hallmarks of dry eye disease. It can promote tissue healing, um, so there aren't, many, uh, there aren't many things that can actually um, do that, but it is FDA approved to promote tissue healing. And it does all this while reducing scar tissue. Um, so this has been a, a great advancement in helping patients with um, many kinds of ocular surface diseases, including dry eye. Well, Dr. Hahn, as you know, I use artificial tears. Can I actually overuse my drops if I am using them more than four times a day? Uh, so I think artificial tears are a great foundation for dry eye treatment. So um, there's always a place to use them in helping with symptomatic relief. So artificial tears uh, that I recommend are preservative free. So they do not have harmful chemicals that are going to uh, worsen your dry eye or create more irritation on your eye. Um, I think artificial tears um, used more than four times a day is usually an indicator that you, you may need something else. You may need something more advanced than just a normal artificial teardrop. Well, now, I know, Dr. Hahn, you've talked to me before about how you uh, pre-treat patients before they have cataracts for their dry eyes. Why do you do that, and how does it help the patient? Well, cataract surgery is a once-in-a-lifetime event, and we want it to be as successful as possible. Um, having successful cataract surgery involves having uh, good measurements, great measurements. It is hard to, do, to have good measurements when the surface of your eye is dry. Uh, the measurements can be all over the place, which will affect the, the vision outcome, and uh, we know that having surgery, any kind of surgery on the eye, uh, can actually exacerbate some of the drying as well. So in, in our practice, we make it a point to uh, pre-treat the dryness. Um, you know, oftentimes the patients will have two problems. They'll have the dry eye problem uh, and the cataract problem. So if we can fix the dry eyes before they have their cataract surgery, uh, that leads to a much better outcome, a much happier patient. So, and Jill, interestingly enough, some patients will come to us pretty well convinced that it's their cataract that's causing the problem 
And in our assessment, we'll see that, yes, they have cataract, but we'll also see that they're suffering from dry eye disease. And we feel that the dry eye disease is probably more of the problem than the cataract. And they're rather surprised to hear that sometimes. And we'll treat the dry eye, their vision improves, because as mentioned earlier, blurry vision and fluctuating vision is one of the major concerns when it comes to dry eye. We treat the dry eye, and they then realize that we're right. The patient doesn't really need cataract surgery. Wow, that's amazing. Um, I know, Dr. Rubin, that you're now offering a medical grade over-the-counter tier, artificial tier, that's showing great success in your practice. Well, the Eye Associates has done a lot of work in terms of research and what works and what doesn't work. And there's a dizzying array of products when you go to the drugstore as to what's available for the eyes. Anything from contact lens solutions to this drop gets the red out to another eye drop that's for allergy and you just don't know what's going to work for your dry eye. So we've done all the work and we do recommend two artificial tears that are both unpreserved and we mentioned unpreserved as being very important and these are very beneficial. These are both medical grade artificial tears Oasis Tears is what we're using, and some patients are finding it so effective that when they come to us already on some of the more expensive pharmaceuticals that they may feel aren't really doing everything that needs to be done, they get such relief from these tear products that they'll even ask us if they can stop their more expensive drug regimen that they've been on for a period of time. So now this Oasis Tears is not found in the drugstore. It's distributed through medical offices. Uh, the company appears that they want the patients to get medical advice from medical professionals, and that's what we're here for. And Dr. Hahn, what about if somebody needs something more at night? Um, so in our offices, we also carry products that are thicker, more viscous. So sometimes the normal artificial tear doesn't have enough staying power on the eye. And so we do have different products that we use and recommend. Uh, uh, so after your examination, we can tell you which products may be best for you to uh, apply at night before going to bed so that it will have a lasting effect through the night and in the morning. Dr. Hahn, is dry eye related to uh, lid hygiene? Absolutely. So we were talking about this meibomian gland disease and dysfunction. Well, when those oils are very clogged, um, it does not contribute to your tear film. So the quality of your tears and the uh, staying, um, decreased evaporation rate of the tears uh, changes. So if your tears evaporate away too quickly, well then yes, your eyes will become even more dry. So lid hygiene and uh, various things that we do to help promote the quality of those oils is, is beneficial for your dry eye disease. And Jill, many of the products are available over the counter for home use for lid hygiene, as Dr. Hahn pointed out. Um, in addition to meibomian gland disease, there's another disease called blepharitis that also contributes to dry eye. And at the Eye Associates, we're also offering an in-office treatment called Blefex. And I'll draw the analogy between what we're doing and what happens with dental hygiene. Everybody brushes their teeth, or they should. Yet periodically you'll march down to the dentist and the hygienist will do a deep cleaning. Well, we have the ability to do a deep clean with our Blefex in the office to clear off and unroof the meibomian glands, clear off the debris from blepharitis, as I mentioned, and it makes for a much healthier tear film. Now, Dr. Hahn, I hear that you're actually seeing dry eyes in much younger patients. Absolutely. So uh, one of the recent studies confirms that uh, patients over 50 and young, under, under 50 years of age actually have similar rates of, of drying and dryness. Uh, I believe that's due to all of the increased uh, digital device and screen time. So as we stare at these digital devices and you know, you and I, everybody, uh, we're on our phones, our tablets, and our computers more and more. So as you stare at these devices, you just don't blink enough. And when you're not blinking, your tears are evaporating way too quickly, especially if you are already starting with a low quality tear film, uh, then it evaporates even faster. Uh, luckily, we do have different products at the eye associates to help to uh, retain those tears on the eyes. So we have different types of glasses and computer glasses that hold the moisture. Um, we recommend a product called Zeiss Blue Protect. It is a, a, a treatment that is done to the lenses to help block some of the harmful blue light that is also emanating from these computer screens and monitors. Um, so we recognize all of these things that are happening. Uh, we recognize that uh, our habits are changing and we are coming up with solutions to help you. Well, I know my husband um, has the 
blue protect, this ice blue protect on his glasses. He can't believe the difference it's made because he's on a computer all day, an iPad, his smartphone. He absolutely says that that was one of the biggest advances that he has seen that's really helped him personally. Yeah, that's what we hear all the time. Now, Dr. Rubin, I know that you also recommend punctal plugs. What are they and how do these work? So punctal plugs are a tiny little medical device that we insert into the lid margin in the office. It doesn't take very long. The idea is to close the opening to the tear drainage canals. And there is a plumbing system in the face and in the, around the eyes that will lead tears to drain into the deep nasal passages. You know that's true because when someone cries profusely, they'll get a runny nose. So normal tears will traverse those same passageways and drain into the nasal passages. And when we insert the little plug into the opening, it allows the tears to be retained on the surface of the eye longer before it eventually dissipates. Artificial tears will last longer. Serum tears will last longer. It's a really big help to a lot of our patients. And this is painless. It doesn't hurt at all and done right in your office. Right there. Okay. Now, Dr. Rubin, what are prescription eye drops for dry eye disease? So as we mentioned earlier, sometimes artificial tears just aren't enough. And we also mentioned that in many cases there's a significant inflammatory component to dry eye. So two products in specific have been, pr uh, drugs have been created to address dry eye symptoms having to do with inflammation one being Restasis and the other one being Zydra, and we'll prescribe those on an as-needed basis to address the inflammation. We also sometimes utilize a medication called Lodamax also that addresses the inflammatory component of dry eye. Because of the high quality of the services that we offer at the Eye Associates, we are also, uh, we have been selected to participate in many FDA clinical studies. So we're looking for the next medication that can help patients. Um, so our patients have access to new medications that they would not have access to elsewhere. Um, so participating in clinical studies um, gives us all of the latest advancements in treatments and technologies and medications. Um, so luckily uh, we we're able to also offer that and hopefully find better medicines for our patients. And the patients that participate in the studies will often get free medication, free care, and depending upon the study they may even receive some compensation and of course they're contributing to the body of knowledge. Okay, I have to ask Dr. Rubin, what is that? I knew you were going to ask. <laughs> so this is called a Bruder mask and it's another way of delivering thermal heat to the eye and the meibomian glands at home. The mask contains tiny little beads, they heat up in the microwave oven in a matter of seconds, it retains the heat and the patients will wear it and they'll put it on their face and it'll warm the lids and allow those meibomian gland oils to flow and, and help their tear film and it's very, very comfortable. A lot of our patients use it multiple times a day. Okay. Well, I think, Dr. Han, one of the most important questions, can you cure dry eyes? So unfortunately, Jill, we do not have a cure available yet for dry eyes. Um, we are constantly working on um, helping patients to manage their dry eyes, uh, helping them to be comfortable, helping them to uh, preserve their eyesight. You know, one of the things that uh, we don't think about commonly with dryness is that it's not just a, a nuisance and an inconvenience. Uh, dryness actually can create lots of damage and scar tissue. Um, so we have patients that uh, if their dryness is not treated, they will actually lose vision permanently. And so uh, it's very important that we do address and take care of these dry eye patients. So then they actually can lose vision from the dry eyes. Absolutely. It, is a, it can be yeah. vision threatening at times. And it cannot be reversed. That's correct. Yes. Well, um, you know, can dry eyes come and go? Oh, absolutely. So um, dry eye can be very um, uh, sporadic in some patients. So uh, oftentimes it is a chronic progressive condition, but it doesn't always have to be. Different environmental factors can contribute to it. Uh, different humidities, different climates, different things in the weather um, can all create that. Um, so it can sometimes come and go, but people where it's constantly coming and going, it's usually a sign or an indication that they may have uh, the need for something more long-term in terms of treatment. Now, I know that you spoke earlier about one of the drops, Dr. Rubin, about takes the red out. Right. Uh, are, 
are they good for the eyes? Um, in general, they don't help dry eye, that's for sure. As a matter of fact, they can actually dry the eye more so if used on a chronic basis. So it's one of the drops that we'll advise patients not to take. And we'll see patients very commonly coming in with their bottle of eye redness drops, thinking that that's actually helping when it's really not, and it may even be harming. Well, Dr. Hahn, do you offer second opinions for patients who have been unable to find comfort? Absolutely. So uh, that is something that we see very commonly every day. Um, recently, I had a patient come in who had been to several different practices, and um, they were offered different types of over-the-counter artificial tears, which they had tried without any success. And they were happy to find that there were many more options that are available than just over-the-counter tear products. And we were able to help them uh, to not only feel better, but also to help protect their eyes uh, so that we can reduce the, the formation of scar tissue and try to preserve their vision the best we can, as long as we can. Now, Dr. Rubin, what is the first step for someone watching that has dry eyes? Well, I recommend calling the number on the screen, Joe. Uh, call to make an appointment. We will start with a comprehensive eye examination. Uh, if we know that you're having dry eye problems, we'll uh, certainly concentrate on ocular surface disease, but we'll also do glaucoma testing, dilate pupils, cataracts, the whole thing. So it's a very comprehensive visit, but we can also emphasize dry eye therapy in that visit. Well, unfortunately, we are out of time. Thank you, Dr. Rubin. Thank you, Dr. Hahn, for helping our audience understand the advanced eye treatments for dry eye disease. And thank you, audience, for joining us today. If you have any questions, we'd love to hear from you. Just give us a call at the toll-free 1-866 865-2020. Or if you'd like to make an appointment with one of our award-winning doctors, we'd love to see you. Just call the toll-free number on the screen. Our goal is to keep you seeing your best and enjoying your life. So for now, I wish you the best sight for life and so much more.